Well, back to school is on the minds of a lot of families. Yeah, and with that comes the stress for both parents and kids. So joining us with some tips this morning, we have licensed psychologist Dr. Nicole Birkins. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. So, of course, so much uncertainty, so much unknown. And one thing that I want to talk about is there's so many different plans being put in place, but really we're not going to know what back to school is going to be like until I feel that happens, you right. know, maybe that week beforehand. So how do you handle that, you know, especially with kids in an age appropriate way? And then for parents, too, when you can't really put like set plans in place, really? Well, flexibility is undoubtedly going to be the name of the game for parents and kids as we head back to school and even as we progress through the year. Um, while some districts are putting set plans in place right now, the reality is those can and probably will change as things evolve. So flexibility is going to be important. And the first thing with all of this is for us as adults, as parents, to be modeling the flexibility, the resilience, the positive attitude that we want our kids to have. Kids model after what they see um, adults doing, how they see us reacting. So even if we're feeling a little bit frazzled or distressed about the situation, the more that we can convey to our kids that, yep, this is an unusual time, but it's going to be okay. It's gonna work out. We're gonna make plans. We're gonna get through this. The better off our kids will be and the more resilient they will be for it, for sure. How do you talk to your kids about uh, wearing the mask, especially if they're younger and they're not exactly sure why they're wearing the mask? Yeah, so masks, you know, there's gonna be several things that are going to be different as kids head back to their school buildings, masks being one of them. So the best thing to do is to prepare them ahead of time, especially younger children, to start practicing with them, to talk with them at an age appropriate level about this is something that we're doing to keep ourselves and others safe and healthy. This is what it's going to be like in the school building. Let's start practicing with that now, wearing the mask for longer periods of time at home, making sure that kids feel confident taking it on and off and just making it a part of everyday life as you're out and about so that they're feeling more comfortable with it as they head into that school environment. And I know you mentioned this in the beginning, but we have, as we wrap up here, what's one piece of advice, like the best piece of advice if you could pick one for parents right now? Yeah. Yeah. Empathize with your kids. Tell them that you understand how they're feeling, whatever that may be, and then also express confidence that you know they can do it, that it's going to be a great year, and that we're all going to get through it together.